DJI has released two exciting aerial surveying payloads, the Zenmuse P1 and L1. These two payloads are meant to do similar tasks, but in very different ways. Today, we're going to take a look at each of these imaging systems, all to answer that very important question, which payload is right for you? The P1 and the L1 are some of the most advanced UAV surveying and mapping solutions available at the moment. They're capable of capturing accurate data for a host of different use cases, including, but not limited to, topographic mapping, natural resource management, construction surveying, infrastructure inspection, crime scene reconstruction, agricultural management, and the list goes on and on and on. These payloads are meant to replace traditionally laborious and complex methods of capturing critical data. First, let's talk about the technology of each of these two payloads. While both are aerial surveying solutions, the data they collect and the way they do it is completely different from one another. The P1 is designed for photogrammetry flight missions. It takes overlapping still images and stitches it together to create 3D imagery. On the other hand, the L1 captures image data using LiDAR. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It uses a pulsed laser to measure distances and create precise 3D information from the shape of the Earth and its surface characteristics. LiDAR allows the L1 to operate effectively in conditions where the photogrammetry capture of the P1 may have difficulty because LiDAR does not rely on visible light. The L1 can operate in fog, low light, and even no light conditions where the P1 would struggle to capture data accurately. And because the L1 is splash proof with an IP44 rating, it can operate in rainy conditions as well. The other task that LiDAR excels at is being able to capture data through tree canopies and vegetation, making it an ideal choice for those of you that need to capture detailed topographical data or monitor vegetation. Both of these payloads capture very high resolution still images. The L1 uses a 1 inch CMOS sensor to colorize the LiDAR data points. The P1 uses a superior full-frame 35mm sensor with a whopping 45 million pixels. Due to the larger size of the P1 sensor, each pixel's large 4.4 micrometer size offers very low noise. This sensor uses interchangeable fixed focal length lenses. This feature not only offers greater adaptability, but it also offers increased efficiency. The L1 has an accuracy of 5 centimeters vertically and 10 centimeters horizontally without the use of ground control points. The P1 takes this to the next level with 3 centimeter accuracy horizontally and 5 centimeters vertically. What does that mean for you? Well, it means the maps or 3D models you create with these payloads will allow you to make measurements within those thresholds without having to send a human out with a tape measure. Both of these payloads have global mechanical shutters, which enables them to capture a significant amount of data quickly without motion blur or distortion. The L1 is able to capture two square kilometers in a single flight, which is pretty impressive, but not as impressive as the P1, which is able to capture a still image every 0.7 seconds and map a three kilometer area in just a single flight. In its basic form, the P1 is about half the price of the L1. The big difference is the L1's LiDAR sensor. LiDAR technology is more advanced with fewer available options on the market, and those that are available can get extremely expensive, which actually makes the L1 an incredible value. If you have any questions about either of these incredible payloads, give us a call, email us, or visit us at dslrpros.com.